So we're in the process of putting the uh, concaves back in the 1660. Dad's strength's doing what he does best, picking heavy shit up. So he's going to demonstrate how you get these in here. Dad's on the other side between the drive tire, going through the inspection hole, helping him hook them up on the pipe they hang from. That's all you got to do to get them in there. So now we're going to work on putting the key stock grates back in. Oh, we got to fix them first. I haven't done that yet. I got like a three quarter inch gap. Oh, that's okay. They need swung together a little bit. And then we'll finish putting all the stuff in that holds the uh, concaves up and makes them adjustable. So I'm going to get these key stock grates over on the welding table and get started on those. I got to weld all these back in. Put some new bar stock in them and repair them. Okay, so we're going to start fixing these key stock grates now. I've got the grinder. I'm going to clean up where these this bar stock goes in. Just three eighths uh, bar stock, 12 inches long. Get it at your local hardware store. Nothing real special about it. So I clean these up. An inch and a half apart. Some of them are. So I'm just checking that inch and a half should be perfect spacing for them. trim the end off because 12 inches has a hair long for them. Tack it. And then we'll check it again just, just to be safe. That'll work. Take a cutoff wheel and we'll cut off the excess that we don't need. Safety glasses. visually inspect the rest of it just to make sure that the rest of them aren't going to come out no more broken welds or anything they can be a little wavy it's no big deal okay this one looks pretty good so uh, we're going to grab another one and fix it
So let me go get another one switched out and we'll do that one. Okay, so we got another key stock grate over here. This one is a little worse than the one before because these are broke right here and it's allowed this side plate to bow out. So what I'm going to do is I got a device and I think I can just draw that back in. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll weld them up and then I will twist that back straight after I've got those welds up and it should work. them welded up. Perfect. It stayed. Grab a pry bar. That looks pretty good right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Looks real nice. Just a hair more. That'll work. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, so now we're going to work on fixing these areas right here and this area right here. So I got me another piece of bar stock. I'm going to put one here. And then we're going to come over here and put one here. So we'll start with this one first. measuring just to make sure we're close. Yep, that'll work. Matches the rest.
noticed one over here was still cracked. Now we'll just take our grinder and we'll just cut the rest of that off. Actually, with that cutoff piece, we have enough to fix the other spot. Perfect. By the way, the welder, the welder I'm using today is a Lincoln Power MIG 200. It's been a really good welder. We've had it for years. We've done a lot of welding with this welder. That end's still hot. one more to do but it's not very exciting because it's not very bad so I'm gonna go get it do it and then we'll get these put back in well there they are all fixed ready to go back in the combine dad got the uh, concaves back in and uh, got everything put back together that raises and lowers them for the different adjustment so now I'm gonna go on the other side and crawl in between the drive tire and finish tightening those in and then we can put the key stock grates back in and change oil and this combine's ready to go to the field actually so really wasn't too bad of a job really so just looked like it was going to be a pretty big project but dad and i knocked it out pretty quick so uh, we get those tightened up and we'll get them key stocks in and we'll be almost done so now we're on the other side of the combine. Um, I crawled in here between the drive tire and the fan pulley and all that. And I tightened up the pipe that holds the concaves in. Basically, you loosen, loosen these eye bolts up, take these nuts, back them all the way off. That pipe slides up and then it allows the concave to hook on the bottom pipe. And then all you do when you want to tighten them back in, Tighten the nuts down, lock the nut on top, and that's all you have to do. So now that we've got this all done, I'm going to crawl out of here, and we can go start putting the key stock grates back in now. And I did fix that back wall. Um, 
under where the rotor goes through above the chopper. I fixed that this morning, drew it back up, put a bolt in it, and got it pulled all back up nice and straight. So that should work out pretty good. So after putting the concaves back in, getting them tightened up, uh, we got a little distracted and ended up going this afternoon and looking at a low boy trailer, which took up the rest of the afternoon. So uh, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to put these key stock crates back in, which is okay because this episode will be too long if we got all that on camera. So uh, we will finish this tomorrow. If you like this episode of Dirt Grain Steel, give me a like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for videos, how-to videos on case combines, let me know and I'd be more than glad to make them for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.